Good morning, everyone. This is Sarah with the Pickaway County Library, and I'm here to bring you our baby toddler story time. We're going to start out with a chanting rhyme today called Snowmen. Are you ready? Five little snowmen standing round my door. This one melted, and then there were four. Four little snowmen beneath a green pine tree. This one melted, and then there were three. Three little snowmen with caps and mittens blue. This one melted, and then there were two. Two little snowmen standing in the sun. This one melted, and then there was one. One little snowman started to run, but soon he was melted, and then there were none. Good job. Do you want to try it with me this time? Hold up your hand, all five fingers. Five little snowmen standing round my door. This one melted, and then there were four. Put down one finger. Four little snowmen beneath the green pine tree. This one melted, and then there were three. Put down another finger. Three little snowmen with caps and mittens blue. This one melted, and then there were two. Do you have two fingers up still? Two little snowmen standing in the sun. This one melted, and then there was one. One finger left. One little snowman started to run, but soon he melted, and then there were none. Oh, they're all gone. That's what happens at the end of winter. The next thing we're going to do is read our story together. This story is about counting, and it starts off with a snowman. Our book today is Snow Boy 123. It's written by Joe Wallman and illustrated by Wendy Wallman. We're reading today's book with permission from Macmillan Publishers. Snow Boy 123. One snow boy all alone. Two children unaware. They don't see the snowman playing behind them. Three ancient apple trees. Four apples in the air. Five rocks across the river. Six hills of fallen snow. Seven sleigh bells softly ringing. Eight mittens in a row. Nine pretty paper lanterns swing from threads that spiders spun. Ten tasty party favors. Nine rabbits eat and run. Eight points perfect antlers. Seven ruffled ravens sing. Six shadows growing longer. Five bears awaiting spring. Four fish beneath the ice. Three smiles made of stone. Two children now returning. One snowboy all alone. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story. Thank you for reading along with me. This book and lots of others are ready and available for pickup in the Youth Services Department. So get online or come in to see us and get some books to read at home. The next part of our story time will be for our sensory bin. So let's take a look and get started. So we have our bin of pom-poms in assorted sizes and colors. We have an empty bowl, some kitchen tongs. These are some big ones. I have written numbers 1 through 10 on these little pieces of paper and we're going to fold them into quarters and just drop them into this empty tissue box. So there's one for every number. Now your little one can shake this up, listen to the sounds, they can reach in and crinkle the papers, they can pull one out, and then you're going to look at what is on the paper. This one is number three. So you're going to use your tongs and try to get three pom-poms from the big bowl into the smaller bowl. This is going to take some practice. If your little one can't handle the tongs yet, they can just use their hands. This is a great time to practice naming the colors, feeling the textures, recognizing the numbers on the paper, listening to the sounds, and practicing that full hand grip 
on the tongs to make them work. So just have fun with this and explore all of these sensory experiences together. The next thing we're going to do is our activity. For this, we're going to need some paper, markers, and some small stickers. Let's see how we're going to use all these items together. So the first thing I've done is I've drawn 10 Christmas trees. You can draw any shapes that you like. I know these are not perfect, but you can also have your children help you draw them if you'd like. You're going to label them with numbers 1 through 10. So there's one number in each shape. Then I have just some simple stickers here. These are just simple circles. And you can again use those numbers from our tissue box from our sensory project. And you could draw one and you can use these stickers. So if you draw the number one, you're gonna put one sticker in the one tree. And if you draw a number three, it will have three stickers in it. So you can just keep going, draw all the numbers now you can use any kind of stickers. If you have blank ones like I do, your children can decorate them and make little Christmas tree ornaments out of them. So this is a perfect time, again, to use that number recognition. Those fine motor skills will get the stickers off the paper and then off of their hands because they are very sticky. Little ones tend to like those textures. So have fun with this and keep on practicing. For our craft today, we're going to use some coloring pages. We have printable pages for you on this Facebook post. You can download them and print as many of them as you'd like. We have a page for all the numbers 1 through 10. Now these are not a Christmas theme, so feel free to use your own drawings or to find coloring pages that you prefer. I hope you enjoyed our story time today and that you join us again next week as we continue to read and learn together. Bye!